September 2nd and I'm heading in to switch out my SD cards on my four trail cameras. All right, well, last year this was a hot spot that I'm heading to now and I had so many deer encounters here. This was the water hole. Well, somebody's been in here over the last month and they've got ribbons hung. I left it overhanging so people couldn't see where I was accessing. But somebody found my trail. I want to see where their pink flags are leading to. They've cut a big trail through here. There was all kinds of buck rubs and buck scrapes in here. Somebody's totally going to be hunting in the spot I was in last year. There's a ladder stand right here. Unbelievable. I literally hunted this area right here, this entire area that's visible. I hunted this whole area. I moved around from tree to tree based on the wind. I wish them luck. I hope it works out for them, but it totally screws me from the way I hunted last year. And there's good acorns on the ground already. This is a really good white oak flat. And when we get rain, which it's been dry here, but when we get rain, there's water right here for them. There's acorns on the ground. There's new, new growth. That's a red oak. White oaks. Last year, deer were just flooding to this spot, hitting these acorns. All right, let's check this camera. This might be the one I move, especially now that I got another hunter, 100 yards, maybe 80 yards up over that rise. Looks like we're gonna leave that camera. There's three or four buck pictures on there. Uh, two of them look pretty decent. And they're just crossing right here on this uh, deer trail that crosses right, right in front of me here, about 10 yards. Uh, one of them looked like a uh, nice eight point. The other one looked like a 10 or 11 point. So I'm gonna leave this camera. So. All right, well, I'm heading into my second camera. That camera was primarily all does. I had, I think, a couple bucks on there. Nothing too serious, but it is a high, high doe area. I don't know, maybe that'll be a good rut location. Catch some bucks cruising through there looking for does. It's hard to say. All right, well, this camera that I'm heading to is the last one that I put out. I had done some digital scouting and looked at some topographic maps and found some really good elevation lines that look like a good travel corridor and it was at that major intersection where multiple deer runs cross through and there's a ton of buck sign in this woods where I put the camera as well as all the surrounding area that I'm in right now last year I saw more buck sign in this area than I had in a lot of parts of this public. So I'm really hoping to catch a few really nice bucks in here. So we'll see what happens. All right, let's get out of here. That camera had 81 pictures on it, several bucks. I need to look at them a little closer on the iMac at home. But regardless, this intersection was very, very busy. Um, most of them are look like uh, 
adult does and some decent bucks, really good looking bucks. So I'm pretty excited about this. One more camera to get to and I'll be done coming in here until uh, deer season. The other really good thing about this spot is there's a soybean field here and a soybean field over here. I'm not sure what's planted on the uh, west side. I'm going to drive around that side when I leave here heading to my last camera and see what's planted on that side of the woods. All right, well, check the SD card. And unfortunately, that camera location has taken a turn for the worse. Only had like five pictures on it total um, almost the entire month of August. It was only one or two pictures. Well, that's going to do it for today's trail camera mission. Overall, I'm pretty happy. Three of the four cameras had some decent bucks on them. Swamp camera, I was really disappointed in that one. I thought it would have uh, better pictures, but 